Give God a praise. Give a praise. Ain't no sickness in Eden. Give him a praise, amen. People live to be a thousand years old in Eden. Ah, let's go back to Eden, living on top of the world. That's a prophetic song. So I'm going to give the Lord a hand praise just for that. We, hallelujah. My Lord, the choir was talking about being blessed so much. Maybe get up here. Lord have mercy. Someone say, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Just gonna shake somebody's hand and say, be blessed. Say, blessings of the Lord make of rich. Shake somebody's hand and say, the blessings of the Lord make rich. He adds no sorrow to it. Remember someone say, he adds no sorrow to it. His blessings aren't tainted. My God, my God. What a mighty God we serve, amen? How many of angels do bow before him? Heaven and earth do adore him. How many adore him? Oh, come let us adore him. What a wonderful Savior we serve, amen. Quickly here in the word of the Lord, get the book of Daniel, chapter number 9, verse number 20. Daniel, chapter number 9, verse number 20. Daniel 9, verse number 20, Luke chapter number 1, verse 26. Would you stand as you read these, get you the scripture of the word of the Lord? Hallelujah. Thank God for the worshipers and for the choir, for the choir worshipers, for the choir that worships, for the worshipers that sing, God bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that's within me, bless his holy name. Daniel chapter number 9, verse number 20. Daniel is seeking the face of God. He's in a consecration down in Babylon. <clears throat> because he has such great, great favor with God, he has a, an encounter of a special visitor comes to see him. 600 years later, it would appear a young woman gets the same visitor who reveals to her some amazing things. I mean, Daniel chapter number 20, Daniel chapter number 9, verse number 20. Amen. Amen. And he says, and while I was uh, speaking and praying and confessing my sins, uh, amen. By the way, that's how, you, that's how you come clean before God. Someone say amen. amen. Here he said, while I was what? He was, uh, and while I was speaking and praying, confessing my sins and the sins of my people Israel, and presenting my supplication before the Lord my God for the holy mountain of my God. Yea, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. And he informed me and talked with me and said, O Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Verse 23, he says, At the beginning of thy supplications, the commandment came forth, and lo, I am come to show thee, for thou art greatly beloved. For thou art greatly beloved. Uh, therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. <clears throat> Luke chapter number 1, verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel, here he is again, 600 years later was sent from God unto the city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin and spouse to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And uh, the virgin's name was Mary. 
And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Someone say amen. <laughs> Daniel 9, 23 and, and Luke 1, 28. I'll read Daniel 9, 23. It says, at the beginning of the supplications, <laughs> The commandment came forth, Gabriel says, and, and I am come to show thee, for he said, for thou art greatly beloved. Verse 28, chap Luke chapter number one. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you so much for your goodness and mercy. We thank you for your kindness and for another day's journey, and we're so glad. We thank you for all those that have come together, Lord, to hear from you, O oh God. Send forth, therefore, your word that it might become life to your people, that it might enter into their spirit and feed them with the finest of wheat. But all of this is about your people receiving what you would have them to be. Let me, Lord God, articulate as the angel of the house oh God the messenger of the house your word to your people who you die for therefore I step aside and ask you to reign in me I pray in Jesus name amen you may be seated in the name of the Lord My text is the kingdom of God shall swell in 2012. Continuing with that, the subtopic is uh, blessed by an angel. Blessed by an angel. Daniel was praying and interceding for the nation of Israel until uh, he was granted a visit from what's called a chief messenger from God whose name was Gabriel. We realize that Gabriel was an order of angel that carries messages. He carried salutations and information from the throne of God. I remember one time in the scripture where uh, they were trying to, in heaven, confuse a man, a man uh, Ahab to get him at the battle of Ramoth Gilead. And since all the angels are true spirits, they tell the truth. It said, who shall we get to go for us, to go down and be a lying spirit in the mouth of the prophets of Ahab? And it said there was a spirit that wasn't of God, wasn't a holy spirit, a holy angel. But this creature stepped forth, amen, and said, I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all their prophets to get Ahab at the battle of Ramoth Gilead. So we know, amen, that uh, this, this was an angel that was an angel of truth because we realize there are angels that lie. Someone say, I know that's right. We see, amen, during, amen, the consecration of Dan, Daniel's consecration, while he was yet speaking, he sees in the vision the angel Gabriel in the vision while he's praying. A few minutes later, as he begins to pray, all of a sudden, poof, Gabriel, flying swiftly, amen, came into the room of his prayer through the vision being open and touched him about the time of the evening offering, three to four o'clock. Gabriel said, amen, he came quick to answer Daniel and to inform him uh, that in verse 23, he said, for thou art greatly beloved, Daniel. If I were to take the terminology greatly beloved and transfer it over to the New Testament, it would be what Gabriel told, amen, Mary in verse 28. He told her she was highly favored of the Lord. He was telling her that the Lord is with her and she is blessed among women. 
And so we see here the same message, amen, of blessings and pronouncing greatness was upon the lips of the angel, amen, that Daniel talked to. <laughs> and amen, bless Daniel. 600 years later, the angel Gabriel dispatched to a virgin's house named Mary. And Mary does not have a theological background. She doesn't understand uh, all the ins and outs because they have not been practicing pure Judaism for 404 years, as we can see from the book of Malachi. And then the sixth month, it said in Luke 26, 126, Gabriel was sent from God unto the city of Galilee to Nazareth. His mission was to talk to Mary and to proclaim and speak some things into her life. Gabriel speaks, amen, over her, Mary, a prophetic word of blessings. But it said the angel came unto her and said, Hail. Now, when we look up the word hail, it means, uh, amen, be cheerful, get happy. Look at someone saying, there, be cheerful, get happy. He said, amen, hail. He said, thou art highly favored, and the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Mary, amen, said to herself in her mind, I don't understand what kind of salutation this is. What is this angel saying to me? I don't know. I'm not a priest. I don't realize. So the angel, amen, had to, amen, tell her about her being blessed. She was blessed among women. And eventually she received, amen, the prophecy and brought forth Jesus, amen, our Lord. But the angel said unto her, Don't be afraid of my parents, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Many of us who are Christians fail to understand the magnitude of what's called, amen, the blessing. <clears throat> because we have not grown up in a Hebrew family. Uh, we have not grown up in a Hebrew culture. And have not known firsthand the power of the spoken word or what's called the blessings. We are lacking in the benefit of the blessing because our culture, we don't understand the power to speak life and death in a person's life. While it was true that God loves all people in the world, he still has some people who he chooses, amen, to personally and passionately receive special attention. I'm, not, I'm just getting going there. There are some people, amen, that when God bestows his favor, it's a special thing. It's, it's a personal thing. It's not just God's throwing out blessings to everyone. Sometime God does, amen, pick people. Look at somebody say, God does pick people sometimes. Daniel was a man with the heart of God and, and took his walk seriously. Uh, so the angel released to him the answer to his prayer and came and proclaimed upon Daniel, amen, a blessing. For it says in the book of Daniel, Daniel said, I am come, amen, I am come for thou art greatly blessed of the Lord. Mary was not expecting, amen, Gabriel's blessing. So he said, wait a minute, stop, don't be scared, be happy. Look at someone say, don't be scared, just be happy. For he said, thou art highly favored of the Lord. The Lord is with you and you're blessed. Blessed you are among women. So the angel used the authority God gave them, amen, to bless his people. Now before we go further, let us understand that, that God does do blessings. God does bless people. Look at someone say, neighbor, God does bless people. And God does have favoritism. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at someone say, God does have favoritism. Draw nigh to me, I'll draw nigh to you. He does have, oh, yes, he does. He has favor. Look at somebody, he's got favoritism because how you respond to God is what you get back from God. Uh -huh. Look at someone say, I know that's right. You can cry all you want that God's, why are you blessed and not me? God, I'm just favored. Look at somebody say, I'm just favored, I'm just favored. Look at someone say, I just got it going on like that. Uh-huh. Don't you realize from the beginning of time, God's always had favor.
favorites. Uh, amen. When it came to a Cain and Abel, amen, he had respect to Abel's sacrifice. He was, amen, favored, uh, amen, and not Cain because of his spirit, the way he related to God. God said to Cain, if you turn around your ways, you'll be blessed also. Also, God had favor with Noah who saved him and his family. So God does uh, give blessings. We see God also bless Joseph. No matter how he was beat down, how many times he was kicked around, he kept coming back and back and back and back and back because God, amen, does, amen, do favors. Look at someone say, God, amen, wants to bless you, my friend. Jacob was wise enough to understand what the power of the blessing was. That's why he stole his brother's birthright, which was a stationary, stationary commodity. He was to inherit everything the father had or double what he had, the portion of anybody else. That was called, amen, the birthright. The birthright means that you were in position, amen, to get certain things from your father's estate. And many of us don't know how we're blessed until sometimes we may go and hear, amen, a reading of a will and realize that you got the, you got the gold bullion. Someone say, I know that's right. Uh, someone say, you got the Mercedes. I know that's right. But you must understand, amen, that the, this blessing thing is unlimited in its capacity to help you do what you need to do in the physical realm. It's called the blessing. Someone said the blessing. See, the birthright is that which is stable and that which is defined. It's defined in contracts, last will and testament. We, most of us should have one. If you don't have one, you better get one. Amen. Someone say amen. But God, amen, that, that is just the stationary one. But what is, blows the mind of my mind is, it is the blessings are unlimited. The blessings have to do with how much you really want to wrestle with God when it's not convenient, uh, amen, to wrestle with God. Someone say amen. You see, when you're willing to wrestle with God while everybody else is sweating and giving up, and you still have enough guts to press your way. Look at someone say, neighbor, you're on your way to get blessed. Touch somebody say, neighbor, all hell. Say, get happy. You're blessed. You're favored. God is with you. Speak to him and say, God is with you. So I just stopped by to tell you. I've been deputized and baptized by the angel of the house. Now I'm making every one of you an angel. Now get up and tell somebody, you are blessed. You are blessed. I just deputized you. As the angel of the house, I empower you to be an angel. Tell them, be, get happy. Wipe that frown off your face. Get rid of the ugly uglies. For God is blessing you. He's helping you. He's providing for you. He's taking you places you've never gone before he's blessing you and putting you in positions of influence um, give God a praise somebody is going to run for congress in this congregation someone's going to run for judge circuit judge someone's going to run for head doctor in the area Cleveland Clinic looking for 600 nurses are you one of those nurses uh, give the Lord a praise uh, just tell him bless uh, I'm blessed uh, I've been deputized as an agent of the house and I bless you uh, I I bless you. I arrest you with blessings. I pour out upon you blessings. You're dripping with blessings. You'll be first and not last. Give God a mighty praise in the house. Give God a praise. Ain't nobody scared but the devil. The devil's scared of your blessing. Your blessing means he can't mess with you no more. His blessings mean he can't mess with your family. You got a right to rebuke him and send him on his ungodly way. Give God a praise, because now you're awake. You've been blessed by an angel. Give God a praise. Run the devil out your pew. Somebody give God a praise. Run him out of your pew. The blessings of the Lord, they make rich. He had no sorrow to it. Give God a mighty praise. Satan hates the praise of God by faith. Take somebody's hand and say, get happy. Get happy. God's with you. You have his favor. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. 
You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. God is sending a word to you saying you're blessed. People are waiting for an angel to appear. Just hear the words I'm saying. You're blessed. Now bless somebody else. Get someone, bless somebody. Say bless you. Say may you be in health and live long. May you prosper and be in good health. You can be rich, but so sick you can't enjoy it. I mean, no, that's right. You can have riches laying at your feet, but not enough strength to pick up and hold it. Look at this neighbor. I know I'm blessed. Touch somebody say, you blessed. Say, get happy. Wipe that ug, ug off your face. Wipe the ug off your face. Say, I love you, but I don't want the ugs next to me. Ug. God dispatched the messenger to tell you what was already in you ready to be, amen, activated in you. All I'm doing is activating the blessing that's already put in you when you were buried in his name, when you received the seed of the Father, the Holy Ghost, you're blessed. Look at someone's neighbor, knock on your spirit, wake yourself up, say, I'm blessed. The devil had me thinking I'm cursed. The devil had me thinking I'm just average. The devil had me thinking I can't make it. The devil is a liar. For God uses the foolishness of preaching to people who may seem foolish, but I want you to know God's sending the word. Look at someone say, neighbor, you're blessed, and don't apologize for it. They don't apologize for it. Give somebody a high five, don't really apologize for it. Don't apologize for it. Just move in what God has given you. What God does many times is wakes up what's in you. Didn't it say that as the apostle, you are to stir up the gift of God that is already in you? See, we read that passage for years, we've been reading it differently. We disturb the gift of God is in you that by laying on the hands of the presbytery. And so we thought, our people taught, that the presbytery is the one that puts the gift in you and stir it up. No, 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 no. The presbytery stirs up what's already in you. Oh, somebody else just give God your hand praise right there. I'm stirring up that which is in you. How many angels does God have to send your way to tell you that you're his favorite? Look at someone, I'm his favorite. No, I'm his favorite. Look at someone, shake their hand and say, no, no, I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm his favorite. <gasps> uh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, I beg the pardon. I beg the pardon. I'm his favorite. <gasps> no, uh, 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 don't, I'm his favorite. I, I'm his favorite. I'm his favorite. Look at someone, I'm his favorite. I'm his favorite. He, yeah, he, he sent a word to me. I don't know about you. You better check your mail, baby. You better check your email or your Gmail. But the last mail I got, ah! Check your G, your G, your God mail account. Look at someone, just check your Gmail. Last time I looked, I was favored. That's why I got this stupid grin on my face. And you can call a stupid grin and it ain't, it's not gonna move me because I'm not attached or motivated by your emotions. Me and God got this thing going on. Can I get some Jacobs in here who have enough guts 
to wrestle the blessing from the angel of the Lord. Do we have enough guts? Are you desperate enough? Are you desperate enough to be so anointed uh, and lay before God all night long for he reveals the greatness that's in you? You must do something to stir it up. Look at someone, I know that's right. So Gabriel, 600 years later, goes and tells Mary, listen, get happy. Your favors. And she said she didn't know how to handle that salutation. That's some of us, we don't know how to handle, look at some of the neighbor, some of us don't know how to handle the blessing. She said, what you talking about? I'm not familiar with this type of pronouncement. So when we say blessed by an angel, the angel is not the blessing. The angel just opens up, sends the message from God that God has already acted, put something in you, and now he just wants it activated. Look at somebody get fired. I'm going to activate my stuff. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. I'm getting rid of this frown. I'm getting rid of this depressed look. I'm getting rid of this sitting down on God because everything didn't go my way today or last week. Look at some of the neighbor. Do you have a praise or do you have a yet praise? Give the Lord just a yet praise. Oh, yeah. Don't be afraid. This is the sanctuary of sanctuary. Sanctuary. attention to people who reject you. You can reject me all day long, but I know I got favor with God. Stop running after people who don't want to be in your company. They don't want to be your company. They're the losers because I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord make me rich. He has no sorrow to it. Help yourself, baby. But I'm going on with the Lord. Put, quit being controlled by people. Go, oh, but God is my source. Blessed. Blessed. Every time I understand how blessed I am, he adds a year to my life. Every time I get in the aisle, he keeps adding a year to my life. I keep going and going and growing and going. Sometimes people think you're crazy, you lost your mind. No, if I have the mind of Christ, let this mind listen carefully to this one. The Lord began to talk to me about the double meaning of this scripture. Let this mind be in you, which is also in. Who what? Who being in a... Who being in a form of God, a form of God, 
Let this mind be in you. It was also in Christ who be in the Are you not in the form of God, his silhouette on earth? Then your thinking should change. Not to do, oh, ha, sha, ta. Let this mind, oh. How many get that? You, you should have a God isness about you. You should have a God that scruples. How many got, how many got that? How many, how many just need to get the tape to get it? How many we can bridge seven at a time? Let this mind let it be in you, which also, who being in the form, I have a, you must have a God is this mind, as well as a mind of humility. For he had to apply humility because he was already God. But let this thinking be in you, which is also in him. Because I'm blessed, I'm favored. I think like the Lord. Give the Lord a hand, praise in the house, amen. We are, hallelujah. Quit letting people control you. Look at something, we're going to let people control you. They ask you what church you go to. Oh, I go, you still go to take me? Oh, I go to, I go to sanctuary and praise. You all happy? They say, oh, you still go there? And now you like a, a little dog. Yup, yup, yup. Tuck your tail between your legs. Yup, 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 yup. And walk away. The devil is a liar. You just trying to make feel, make me feel bad because you are still, amen. You are still wanting to feel the praise. Because where you are, it's not quite like you thought it would be. I'm gonna leave that one alone. So misery loves company. Uh huh. It's quiet. Look at something, amen. God is good. Remember this, we are the children of light. But if the light in us is dark or is obscured by worldly living, then how great would be the darkness in us? Then the world hasn't got a chance if we cross over and embrace everything they are. Ye are the children of light, children of the day. Walk in the day as in the children of light and not children of night. This is apostolic teaching. Well, you are of the day. Look at some of your neighbor. You are of the day, not of the night. Let someone say amen. I'm glad everybody's saved here. I'm glad nobody came in from, from, from St. Patrick's Day uh, after drinking green beer, falling out in the pews. Someone else say it got quiet here. All right. Repent and be blessed. He's an awesome God. Amen. We are people of God. But let me say this. If God favors you, don't apologize for it. The world wants you to fit into their mold. When a person is trapped into a mentality of, 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 of humanism or self-godism, then they have to justify all the things that go on in their world. And you can't, uh, uh, they won't let you invade their thinking with a God who can take care of you, a God who can heal you, a God who, 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 who when you're going through the midst of the valley of the shadow of death, you fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of our enemies. Have you ever gone to a board meeting knowing, amen, that they wanted to fire you? And after you came out of the meeting, they almost promoted you? Somebody give God a praise. There are haters out there. Amen. Someone say Amen. God is a very present help in trouble. Let us all stand. I, I pray that you, God, you let the Lord touch by an angel. You, you'll touch people's lives. God is able, but the greatest anointing people will see will not be from the Lord. He won't come down personally, but through you. That's why you can't afford to blow your life, your assignment.
Ministers, would you come quickly? We're going to pray very quickly. Ministers, would you come? We have a very short altar call. Some of you out there, by the grace of God, who know that, hey, man, not in, in, in Christ Jesus, are not in Christ Jesus, would you come? Because that's where the transformation begins. That's where the favor begins to, to start to come upon you in your life. That's where the favor comes. I know T.D. Jake said favor isn't fair, but he's right. Who am I that thou are mindful of me? You can call me after you call me. Could it be you're thinking of me?